Well, it is so nice to have everyone together again. Yeah, Mama, I, and Emily's here too. On second thought, that might not be such a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Ben Dixon. I am the director of Old Habits Die Hard. Uh, it is the fourth feature film of Bloody Moon Films. We set out to make this movie with a, with a good friend of ours. Uh, you'll hear him called Vayton Hadley. His name's Gene Hadley, old buddy, but we'll call him Vayton. And uh, he had this idea about um, writing this script about a mortuary. It was actually just a phone call that that uh, Gene and I had, and we, uh, before we knew it, you know, we were writing the movie. You know, we we had a very very small crew, and you know, literally it was four or five people working all the time on everything, and you know, that was one of the things that that Kane had had said to us was, you know, he here he was he's worked on a, a lot of you know big movies so to speak and. Uh, you know, big crews, you know, big budgets, and then, you know, he comes down here and works with us, and he was amazed at how much three, four, five people were able to do to, to make a movie. It's in Rendell's room. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Detective getting ready to have his big finale. Okay before he's even really had his professionals. He told you, no more <laughs> One of the first days of filming um, with Kane Hodder, um, he was the star of the, the movie alongside Stacy Dixon. And, you know, of course, you know, here, here it is, this guy who's Jason Voorhees, who's played before the Friday the 13th. You know, we wanted to get somebody that we could make, you know, a, a killer, you know, that, that would be part of this part of this movie and somebody that had a name in the horror business so you know we bring Kane in and uh, you know we, we spared no expense you know we wanted to bring Kane out to his his new trailer on set and uh, you know we walk him around the corner and present him with with this brand new state-of-the-art top-of-the-line you know, spare no expense uh, trailer for him. You told me I was going to get the good trailer. You got the good trailer. Well, we got to we got to unscrew this for you, so we can. Look, it's got a stove. It's, it does. Yeah. You're all set. Nice. Uh, Nothing but the best. What do you think, man? That's fantastic. <laughs> we, were, we were gonna get a little stencil, put a little star on it, and be like, "Kane, uh, you probably bought that just for this joke." <laughs> All right. Hi, I'm Stacy Dixon, and I played Allison Hollis and Danielle on Old Habits Die Hard. Well, the first thing that I do remember about the set was that it was pretty much a skeleton crew. It was probably four of us, including myself and my husband, Ben Dixon, and Baton Hadley and Chris Rucker, who pretty much pulled the whole thing together in pre-production and production. So it was a lot to take on, and we did a lot of work, but there was drama-free, and everybody was really cool, and really well. She's just hitting them and hitting them, and the gun drops. It doesn't have to be hit to be dropped. And then just after she hits two or three times, then just grab her. I bet you it's going to work. So up. we had to do a lot of menial tasks, like, for instance, I remember a day Vayton had to dig a grave. I mean, it was, we had hired someone to come in and with a backhoe, didn't show up. So Ben actually called one of his friends who has, like, a equipment rental place and got it out there. We're trying to figure out. Who the hell is going to dig this grave? And it was just like, ah, and we look over and there's Vayton on the backhoe digging a grave. It was so awesome. So he, yay, Vayton took one for the team. Grab 
Great by Vayton. Seriously. Ser ser I'm serious. <laughs> Creativity, huh? This is this is Dean's last smoke before he gets killed. He's fucked. <laughs> He's fucked. Oh. Oh. Can you put that light back in here a little bit, Chris, please? You know what'll help too if uh, if you're gonna be that tight, then get his arm out of there, right? Oh, one on the other side. Because that just shows. Yeah, lift it up a little more, Dean, just for a second. Even the right one, the right one, way up out of it. Yeah. Yeah, that's better. See it? Yeah. We're so tight we don't see your arm up there, so that's almost better, don't you think? Yeah, there's, you can't, there's no reference to where it's where and how it turned it. So yeah. That looks pretty good, really. Right. <clears throat> Just a little bit more down to the left on this right over here where you this got light? the one coming. Just a little bit of drop. Going down. Right by that one, that far left one. All right, slates. You want it on his face? No. Or you want me to clear that shadow? And the writer of Old Habits Die Hard is an original story that I wrote, um, uh, kind of referencing the old, old school stuff that I grew up with, the old comic books, um, creepy, uh, eerie from back in the 70s where uh, I was a big fan of those magazines and um, always wanted to write something in that vein and um, started working on a, a story. This is what we came up with. There was uh, some people I knew that uh, said when they were kids they used to play around in a mortuary as creepy as that is and uh, which kind of got me thinking about you know what if they grew up and uh, turned into some crazy family which they might have I don't know. It's always interesting and exciting to start your first day of shooting. I mean, there's so much planning, or there should be so much planning that goes into making a movie, you know, from, you know, the thought process, the idea, the, the sitting down, actually writing out, you know, the scenes, getting an outline done, um, you know, and then really, you know, doing your locations, everything. But, you know, it all goes into that first day whenever you, you know, you're there, everybody's on set, and, you know, it's exciting. It's a, it's a great feeling to actually start filming a movie. Um, so, you know, it was really fun to have, you know, some of our kids there and uh, some of our friends' kids or, you know, our nieces. And, you know, we just, we just went out and had a fun, you know, a good fun time. And, and it was the backstory. Um, you know, behind, it, was, it took place in the 70s, and it basically gives you, the viewer, um, an idea of where the story is going. You know, it shows Kane's character, well, which was played by our son Logan. My brother is going to have to teach you uh, a lesson. You know, Allison, who was played, you know, by, as a little girl, was played by Stacy's niece, and, you know, they're out luring this little kid to uh, come play with them, but yet their whole plan is to kill him and bring him home to the family. Come out to this place. What kind of girl wants to It's someone with Every Oh, Chris. No. But these on? Barely. Never mind. Chris don't say much. Mm -mm. He's shy. When he does. That's about right. That's about how long I want to take mine and get mine. 
I don't know. He don't screw up like I screw up. Okay. Big path here. Yes, sir. But do we have to go? Mm. <laughs> Good. Oh my God, I know. Crazy. Keep your eyes closed. All right. Hey, fish. Fish net stays. All right. You want to keep your mouth closed like that? That was very scary. We're gonna be a little late. Get back. Okay, like, <laughs> like Lane, I'm sorry to tell you, but you got loose in your beautiful golden locks. Yep. <laughs> okay. Like somebody busted. Oh, dude, that's just going down my shirt now. <laughs> Feel good. Back in red. The new album. Just use your shirt one. to wipe it. Just tap, patch your shirt, and it'll just stick to your shirt. Uh, we had a comedian on the set, uh, Adam. He. Uh, uh, He's a was the son of a friend of mine, and and we brought him on, and he was the uh, he did the special effects work, uh, but he also did a lot of other things. You'll you'll see him in a few caskets. Um, he whatever we needed to do, he was there. You have a mounted one, right? Right. Just a handle. Well, I've got I've got another. It's a real one. Um, like we could we could do something about where it's. <laughs> But you know what I mean? It's almost like it's a cool... Yeah, you're not going to see. Boom! I mean, I'm up against him. Then I back up and you see the handle sticking out of his back. Yeah. And then he has to sell it with his slump. Like, boom. Yeah. She's a little boy. Little tiny. Character, man. That's a new character right there. There it is, buddy. That is action, action. Uh, Next year's Halloween figure. costume right yeah. there. Uh, but he was a great, um, I guess you, uh, impersonator. And he did a Christopher Walken that had everybody, I mean, rolling on the floor. Well, okay. You're going to get stabbed in the back by Jason Voorhees. He's coming. It's too crazy. <laughs> Chris for walking. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> 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 Jason Voorhees. <laughs> He's gonna jump out of the shadows. You're ruining our moment, man. I scared you scared I scared you. <laughs> this is right. Yeah, he needs more cowbell. Cow <laughs> 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 I'll tell you what, yeah. we Another actor that I really want to talk about is uh, Detective Durant, uh, played by Scott Russell. He did an amazing job and he was so funny because he's actually like a bodybuilder and kind of physical trainer guy and an actor, great actor too. And he came on and did a casting with us and um, my husband and I both thought, okay, He's perfect for this character. Careful of, of this, you know, when you do it, let her grab hold here. Okay. okay? See? Okay. She'll, she'll grab hold. That way you're not manhandling the face. Okay. You can get she'll grab hold. Boom, there you go. Okay. okay. Right? Right in there. That would, that would be perfect. That would be a little close. No, but he's he's further over than we thought. Kane, yeah. Kane's a very. Um, Where are you at? Uh, he he's been a stunt coordinator for a lot of movies. So one of the death scenes at the very end, with with the detective, um, you know, basically he's he's done, he's worked his way into the house into the Hollis family, and uh, he's just murdered, you know, Mama Hollis, which was played by Trisha Cast. And, um, you know, he thinks everything's all good and he's trying to catch his breath for a moment. You know I mean? Yeah, right. that way it won't come up and hit him. Right, it'll push his head away, Yeah. but it won't smack his head. Is that okay? Yeah. He'll still have a concussion to it though, so. No, you can use a, a better choice of words would have been good. No, no, I mean, you'll still you feel the really impact. Yeah, it's okay. You'll still feel the concussion. <laughs> you're gonna have, you're gonna have a concussion. That's a good height too, Ben. When we yep. wrote this scene, you know, we wanted to give, give kind of an homage to The Shining, and this scene, kind of reminded 
me of that a lot. It's like, you know, when Kane, he, he's sitting there and he's getting ready to chop this door and it, and it, that ax busts through. Uh, you know, that had to be a very staged right. out scene. I mean, because it was a real ax and, you know, you wanted to give it as much realism as possible. And to, you know, still try to create a little bit of what uh, Kubrick did in uh, The Shining. Lots of cool stuff, lots of beautiful women, everything a bar club scene should be. People taking their positions over here. Good looking girls walking by. There goes one now. Directing. Directing. Lining things so up. Like You're over here. Over here? Okay. How are we like single file? He's, he's setting the scene. What do you want me to say at this point? I don't know. Is it rolling? It's rolling. Is that what that light means? Yes. That's the auto light. What you are witnessing right now is Dean and Donovan alive and uncaught. Um, I'm mentally prepared. Okay. That's fine. <laughs> That's fine. That was I'm done with this interview. When I took the role as Allison Hollis in Danielle, it was a complex role to take on because it was two different people trying to live two different lives. Yeah, sure. Allison, Allison, get in here. And Trisha Cast, who played Nina from? for several years on Young and the Restless and still plays on Young and the Restless, is Mama Hollis, was my mother. She took me outside, gave me this huge, like, acting one on one, and I really, really appreciate it, and it helped out so much. Like, if uh, whoever makes it, the other one gets the next ball, if that makes it, you just let it go. Just let it go. Drop it in the table we play on. Right, okay. That's what it automatically does. Okay. I'm cool. We're talking a little foosball here. Yeah. We're, we're old school guys. It came right after pool. Foosball was the next thing. And pinball machines were in there somewhere. I, I'm not sure. I'm not going anywhere. I know a lot of things that people would love to know. Fuck you all. There's on the chair over here. All right. Oh, no, clacky. No, 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 clacky. Yeah, he's too big. Oh, my God. That's his best friend right now. I love clacky. Oh, you know what All right. Got yes. Yes. Your chain. Yes. My you ain't so big I can't fix your ramp. The Goose Ferratu, we can't forget about the Goose Ferratu. Um, his scene out of the casket in this one is its something else. Uh, Goose is a character who's kind of been in, in pretty much, I guess, all the movies. But um, we filmed a lot of these scenes in this old house. And it, it's, a, it's a great 104-year-old house or so. And, uh, you know, it's just, it's got a lot of creepy areas, stairwells, but what's cool about it is it's a house that's been consistent in four of our movies. And, you know, it's kind of neat to look at different rooms that we've shot in this old house, you know, and, you know, use them in different scenes in different ways, but it's really cool. I mean, it's like, uh, being able to try to use what is available to you. I mean, you know, the, fa the fact of independent filmmaking, you know, when you're trying to direct a movie, is, you know, you just try to do with what you have, I and mean, do the best that you can do. And, uh, you know, hope it all works out, and have, have a lot of fun doing it. And that's one thing that, you know, our crew, Bloody Moon Films, I mean, it's, it's always been a good close net um, group and you know being able to to film and you know from start to finish you know with these projects it's uh, it's a great group and um, you know thanks to Chris Rucker and Stacy Dixon and Vaden they 
call him Gene Hadley. What do you think about your experience in the uh, the coffin? Was it exciting? It's one of my most challenging roles so far in my history with Bloody Man. <laughs> The, uh, well, I, I, we were all the, impressed. The complex choreography was difficult, but we were able to get it. Oh, well, <laughs> you're a professional. The, uh, the dialogue in Swahili will be different. Well, the subtext will handle that. I think so. All right. Well, congratulations. Thank you so Job much. Job well done. The, uh, Thanks, thank you. What was it like, kissing a dead man? Had worse? Yeah. <laughs> well, Goose, you should feel good. Now, you know what this blood on my neck is going to look like? I was making out with the poor dead girl. That's the Hollis's, man. I know. I you you learned one. that from them. You picked it up from that guy. Rick McCallum, notorious for his uh, stunt work uh, on a lot of movies, um, most notably Roadhouse with Patrick Swayze. I even think he was in that movie doing some things. He was a bouncer. You. Yeah, yeah, see. I'll, I'll, I'll actually put my close up to you guys out here. And that's actually some good swinging. Yeah. It almost looks like he, he could have hit you. He could have hit you. I had to be pretty yeah. quick when I was scared. <laughs> I was doing a movie one time and they asked me to play a SWAT guy chasing somebody down an alley looking for him. Right. They said, be real macho. And I said, okay, the whole crowd's in. I went, all right. All right. They said, all right. Action. great actor that was on our, our set was uh, Roger Hewlett. Um, it was amazing. He, he's uh, notorious for playing uh, uh, cops. He was uh, uh, Clint Eastwood's movie The Changeling. Can I say that? Okay, I did. Um, he was uh, the, the officer that uh, kidnapped Angelina Jolie, but he's notorious for playing uh, officers and he played our redneck sheriff, Jimmy. Uh, I thought what was so great about that is he, he flew in uh, from LA, came straight to the field where we had our overturned car. We gave him a hat, we gave him a coat. He'd memorized the, the lines on the way, and uh, as soon as the cameras rolled, he nailed it. He nailed the scene, he nailed the character, and we were all in, and we were in awe of the way he did that. So uh, it, he, he, did, he did justice to Sheriff Jimmy, and, um, and, and the one hat, he, uh, he had a mishap with that, which we won't go into. Okay, he caught it on fire. But that's another story. This is car three, car three. You reading me, Jade? Looks like we got ourselves a double fatality car wreck out here on Route 29. Now, just a couple dumbass teenagers drinking and driving. Kids get this kick ass weed. The dog Bud, I am William Wallace. I shoot fireballs out my eyes. And lightning lightning bolts out, 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 out my ass. Out my ass. That's a great fucking. You should have asked me before you killed it. <laughs> Came from Woodbury. Yeah. Oh. No, just to have footage of the car coming over in a B roll there. That's where I'm B rolling.
five and the frame line here. Yeah. I asked for a frame line. Sacrifice in your frame line or not. Alright. That's where he said he heat it. That's how I got it. I don't think it's heat and expand it and try it. Oh, is that what you're doing? Well, I mean, no, that's, that's, the, a, that's the end of the two. Yeah, I was say, but. that's some kind of... No, let's just do it. Oh, yeah. Fancy, too. Uh, uh, that felt pretty weird. <laughs> oh, that's that's your throat. Yeah, it sucked my neck in there. <laughs> Did it? Yeah. <laughs> well, you know it's airtight. Yeah. Shake it. <laughs> you just have to get it okay. all away. Yeah. That it's going to come out. I kind of want to prime it too, so it's not you know, Dario Argento did all of his death scenes with his own hand. Yeah? Yeah, because he thought he was... Yeah, but I'm not left-handed. Better hand left -handed. Left -handed. Even start you know, up right a little hand. little bit more into the... Yes. Because that looks cooler. Okay, right about here? Uh, a little bit more up, but you know, you go back and... Does he go down? Up. Does he want to go down? No, just, I'll tell you. Right. Let me get through this. Right. Keep it right there, kind of chin. Yep. Rolling. And go. Mouth. Don't go down. Mouth. Let it all go. Now slide down. Here's uh, the actors in our our uh, great movie. Um, uh, somebody's going down. I think it's her. Uh, someone's getting blamed for it. I think it might be you. <laughs> and uh, this girl snaps and turns back into evil Allison from the timid Danielle. And this is the turning point You're of the, the guy that turned her. You're the guy who turned her. At least she's not a lesbian. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I still get a lot of cheese though. Yeah. So, uh, pivotal yeah, role. It's not that easy. <laughs> this is where the whole movie changes, and then we go into Hollis world, and she's back. Hollis. Jonah! 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 She's ready. <laughs> This is it. This is the gang. How's everybody doing? This is the crew. This is the lighting. This is the director. This is the blood this is guy. This, this is his knife. This is This is we did it all. This is my boomstick. <laughs> He's about to kill me. <laughs> We're gonna get some real blood today. Yeah, real blood. nothing is fake shit. We're going real. Yesterday was fake. Today's a real thing. Winding it down. One more day. We're done, and a great cult classic is in the books. Rear! Rear! Yeah, let me cut that off. <laughs> we take that out and edit. That was for uh, Rendell. That was for Rendell. In this, we do try to have a lot of fun, and uh, we teach you how to dance on this uh, behind the scenes, you know, documentary here. And uh, you know, there there are some great moves from. Uh, myself the groove master and uh, you know I have been a national uh, title holder of, of dance contests and uh, you know in this documentary we we really show you how to dance so let's uh, let's let's tune into that right now <laughs> Yeah.